Hi, I'm Bill, and welcome to one more video. So today is the 7th of November, 2023. Uh, heading down to Borrego Springs for Nightfall 2023. I kind of got my dates mixed up. I thought I was leaving Thursday, but actually I have to leave tomorrow because my check-in is on Thursday down at the uh, location where Nightfall will be held. But I wanted to get this uh, video out there. Uh, if you've been following the channel, you know I recently purchased the Giotto. It's a smart flat field generator, basically an LED light panel. And I don't know how you are, but when you buy something, and in particular with Prima Luce Lab, the user base is not as extensive as, let's say, you know, the ASI Air user base and, and maybe uh, Pegasus Astro, or at least I'm not aware how large the Prima Luce Lab user base is. So I couldn't find a lot of information. So when I buy something new, I always wonder, okay, I think it's the right solution. Is it going to work or not? And uh, I'm very happy to say that uh, I'm very pleased. So let's uh, jump on to uh, Nina. And I'm very pleased with how it is interacting with uh, Nina. And um, so I use the flat wizard. And the bottom line is I was able to do 30 flat frames per each of my seven filters in my eight position filter wheel in 13 minutes. And uh, to me, that's fantastic. You probably saw another video where I did like a homemade uh, flat panel using uh, a tracing panel and some uh, neutral density gels and a piece of uh, uh, plastic from tap plastic. And while that worked and got me good flat files, I needed to be involved with trying to change the setting on the tracing panel. I had to put some uh, sheets, uh, uh, well, not, I didn't have to put sheets of paper in for the Edge HD8, but it required more manual intervention. With the um, Giotto, all I did was I ran through, I don't know if you're familiar, you, you may not be a Nina user, but it has what's called the Flat Wizard. And, um, and here is where I have the uh, light uh, panel uh, connected in Nina. So what I did is I went in and I ran through each of my filters, the seven filters, and I recorded the times it took for each uh, filter to produce a flat now, my target ADU, and there can be a lot of discussion around this, but my uh, histogram mean target is 26214, and then there's a 10% a uh, kind of uh, tolerance. So I'll generally take anywhere between 23593 and 28836. And following uh, these specifications, I've been able to produce. Uh, good flat calibration flame, uh, frames. So what I did is I, it took me a little bit to run through each of the filters to get the optimum uh, starting time. So uh, like for the loom, the minimum, uh, the starting uh, minimum exposure, 1.5 second, uh, red 1.65, green 2.82, blue, 2.34 for the HA, 2.5, S2, 2.1, and then for O3, 2. But what you'll also see here then, I established what the flat panel brightness needed to be. So for the uh, O3, I needed to set it at 75%. For the S2, I needed to set it at 85%. HA, 80% brightness, 
blue, 35% brightness, green, 35% brightness, red, 40% brightness, and for the luminous filter, 25% brightness. So we'll just kind of uh, do a real quick one here. I'm not going to make you sit through 30 of each filter. And uh, so let's turn these on. Okay, I think I have them all on. We can uh, close these down. All right, and filter number eight is empty. There's an empty slot, so let's just uh, just kick this off. And it's 1.33 p.m. Okay, so what is it telling me here? Uh, I'm too bright. Okay, so uh, last time I did it, I wasn't too bright, so let's bring this down to 20. Reset and continue. Okay, we're on to the red filter. Too bright. Okay, so interesting. Um, it changed. So maybe it, that's going to happen each time. So maybe there's a trade-off where I run a little dimmer, dimmer and it takes a little bit longer. Or I increase my uh, mean uh, histogram target a little bit. And um, so I'm kind of glad I'm doing this test. But um, so far, again, just taking some flats here in my uh, family room, I'm very pleased with the performance. And I'm, I'm pleased that it's operating between what, 0 and 80%. So clearly the range of the Giotto uh, light panel for my setup of the Edge HD8 with the M uh, with the 533mm Pro camera and the filters that I have, what is this saying here? Too bright. Okay, so we'll take this down to 75 and see if that. So maybe I'm going to have to tweak this each time, or. Uh, probably accept a little bit low, uh, longer flat time or time exposure time where uh, with a lower uh, brightness level on the uh, flat panel for a particular filter. So that way if I run it in totally automatic mode, which is where I'd like to get to, I'd like to get to where I have the companion piece called the Alto, which will open and close the LED uh, panel. And uh, that way, so at the end of the night, I can have flats taken uh, programmatically without me having to intervene. So I'll, I'll find how to tweak those settings a little bit so it will, uh, so it'll run uh, without any manual intervention. So I just wanted to uh, say I'm very pleased. The quality of the Giotto is uh, very good. Again, it was $465. But already I'm seeing that the value it can provide me versus my homemade uh, light panel. The homemade one can get the job done. It just takes more of my time. More trial and error tweaking of trying to get the right brightness on the tracing panel where this is a lot, um, a lot easier for me to work with. So, all right, I got a bunch of stuff to do today to get packed and so I can leave tomorrow morning, which is one day earlier than I had planned. Some, somewhere along the line, I got my dates mixed up. 
but everything is in good shape for the trip. I just want to double check my EQ mod settings and a couple of last minute things, but I have all the cables I need. Um, I've got a couple spare cables, so I, I think I'm in good shape and it just gets down to packing things and getting ready uh, for my trip. Again, I don't make equipment recommendations. I think the only equipment recommendation I ever made was the ASI Air Plus. And that recommendation was geared towards someone that might be new to the um, hobby as a good starting point. And other than that, I think there's so much difference between our uh, one person's gear versus another person's gear that uh, it's really hard for me to make a recommendation, but I can say the quality of the Giotto light panel, its ability to interface with Nina and the flat wizard in Nina are uh, totally meet my expectations. And uh, so if you're looking for something and you're not familiar with Prima Lucci Lab and the Giotto, it might be something you wanna consider if you're looking for an LED light panel. Other than that, I hope you have some good weather as we're approaching the November new moon. See you next time.